everybody, it's me, Roxy, and today we are doing an extra video, which is about New Year's, and I'm reading the book, The Night Before New Year's, and this is because New Year's is right around the corner, and it's a time where we can restart and begin with a new, fresh year. So, let's get on with the video. The Night Before New Year's Twas the last day of December, what we call New Year's Eve. A whole year had flown by. It was hard to believe. We were pretty excited. Our puppy was too. We cheered out, out with, we cheered out with the old and in with the new. Oh, please, I begged. Can we stay up till midnight for this one special evening, my parents told us. All right. So we drove to the store to buy party supplies. Hats, horns, and poppers, and sparkly bow ties. At home, we put up all the streamers and balloons, silver glitter and gold stars to twinkle up our rooms. A banner was hung by the ceiling with care in hopes that baby New Year would soon would be there. We gathered for dinner, a grand late night feast, all our family favorites. I ate three cupcakes at least. With the clink of our glasses, we gave a toast, making New Year's resolutions my dad had the most. But I couldn't come up with one single vow. That's okay, said Mom. You don't have to right now. After dinner was done, we played checkers and charades, then broke out cards for a long game of spades. We shared fond memories. Oh, there were dozens. Holidays, camping trips, and new baby cousins. Our eyelids were droopy, so we ducked out for fresh air. Then came in to watch the crowd lining Times Square. One more hour, said Dad, till the new year is here. Put on your hats, said Mom. Let's practice our cheer. Counting down from ten without a single mistake, we tooted horns and popped poppers. I was now wide awake. My brother chased our puppy all through the house. Then mom and dad noticed it was quiet as a mouse. There was no sound of barking, no little boy chatter. So we sprang from the couch to see what was the matter. When what to our, our wondering eyes should appear, but two party pe poopers make that three now. Oh dear. While our puppy curled up on my father's lap, my brother and I went upstairs for a five-minute nap. We both soon were nestled all snug in our beds, while visions of reworks, of fireworks <laughs> danced in our heads. The next thing I knew, it was sunny and bright. Rats! We missed the ringing in the new year last night. But that's when I came up with my resolution. I believe I absolutely will stay up for next New Year's Eve. I hope you guys enjoyed that book. I really liked it and it was fun to read. And I hope you guys have a lovely New Year's. It's a great time to think and reflect on your past year and think about what should I do different and what do I like about myself and what should I do really good this year because it's a good time to also reflect on how you've been doing and not just all of your things that you want to improve on, which is also a good thing to do. Improving is always good, but take a little time for some self-love and I hope you guys have a great day. See you next year.